a love of food, travel, and comedy brought our next two guests together to the delight of over 5 million loyal fans. We're at the Hops and Hot Sauce Festival at the Spindle Tap Brewery. Last time I had hot sauce, I almost died. Uh. It's going to be super lit. Let's go. Ooh, the honey hole is tasty. Tangy. It's roasted. Roasted right. chipotle. I like that. A little kick to it, too. But, not, but not crazy. No, <laughs> man. It looks like it comes like in a liquor bottle, too. That's what's up. Look at that. You got his angry daughter on there. Hell yeah. <laughs> you better buy this. Yeah, but have they ever had a smoky mimosa? Please welcome the host of the wildly popular YouTube series, Sin Foods, Timothy DeLaghetto and David So. Hi. Hi. Hey. What's up? Hey. How have you going? ever? Uh, have you ever seen a smoky mimosa? No. Uh, no, not like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, it's, it's of course big because everything in Texas is big. I see I that. Know. Yeah. I see that. No, I'm Single ready. serving only, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back a little bit uh, for those people who don't know. So, Timothy, mm -hmm. your background, uh, actor, rapper, you've done TV, MTV, and things mm -hmm. like that before. Mm -hmm. uh, you're part of this brave new world of YouTube right. that allows people to skip the red tape and do their own thing. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, and, and that's what's beautiful about, about um, what we do in the show because I, I literally was just doing it um, out of pocket on my own YouTube channel. You uh -huh. know, I was like, hey, I hit him up. I was like, hey, man, uh, I'm going to a food festival. I'm going to get drunk and I'm going to film it. Do you want to come with yes. me? Yes. Come eat some good food with me because he also likes to eat, he also likes to drink. And um, I knew David was a funny dude. So. Yeah, usually we're doing stand-up comedy since what, about 16 years old, also yeah. singer-songwriter. And when you talk about getting material for comedy, I would imagine that festival's right up there. Oh, oh for sure. yeah. We need some crazies. Yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, no, we met a lady in Florida that said she had died in 1999. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I make oh. a great fish head. Damn. Yeah. That's what she said. She said, I made a fish head last night. Yeah. And she kept running around the festival Saying following that we were playing us. with children She had in died the in 1999, she said. Like, yes. and, and she did mention that she came back, though. Did she realize that she had come back? Yeah, I mean, I think, She was trying yeah. to sell us uh, a CD, her album. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. And then right after we, we met, and I shook her hand, she said, I had scabies last week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right. Yeah, <laughs> and then he touched my face. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> How did you come up with the idea for Sin Foods? I mean, obviously, uh, you're going out, you love food and the mm -hmm. whole bit, but to actually do this as a YouTube piece, and then to actually get to eat and drink for free everywhere. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I, I love food shows. I love stuff like, you know, like Anthony Bourdain, all mm -hmm. that, you know, Bizarre Rest Foods. And, and I thought, like, um, there's a whole generation, I feel, of, of foodies that, you know, maybe they're not necessarily as, like, uh, bougie with it, you yeah, know? It's like, yeah. we, we just, we well, love food, you know? know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. We feel it all quick saute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I, I like that, too. Yeah, know? right, <laughs> it's all good. But, yeah, what you did is you made food what it is. It brings people around the table. It can be fun. Uh, there are recipes, and then there are rules to be broken. Mm -hmm. And so, we have a few rules to be broken here today. Mm. Uh, compliments of the turkey leg hut. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and bring oh. Chef in right now. <laughs> okay, you've been all over the place. Have you ever? Uh, n no, Have not like this. Ever. No, this is. I, I hesitate to call it turkey leg. It's like calling out like a, a BMW a cup holder. Uh, okay, <laughs> but it's, it's like, what is this right here? Put this that microphone up there. Yeah. This is a Cajun Mac leg. Speaking of doing your own thing, turkey leg hut. Uh huh. Uh -huh. We're doing our own thing. Yes, mm -hmm. you are. We Go. have the biggest turkey leg in Houston and probably in Texas. And, and the craziest turkey leg, because every time I go to a festival, it's just the turkey leg. <laughs> and, and you got some extra stuff going on right here. I don't even know here. where the turkey leg is. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you have to dig through to find the turkey leg. Yeah. Okay, and what's this right Wait, here? That's turkey Alfredo leg. shrimp leg. Okay, Alfredo shrimp You're leg. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm down there for the little petite legs. That's our Hennessy Wings. Hennessy. Hennessy yeah. wings. Hold on one second. I'm not the Hennessy wings. Watch the fries. Just let me just let me just suck oh, the Hennessy sauce wings. off. Yeah, the old sauce. Are special. we going in already? Okay, we're oh, going to go in. Because, uh. Look, I'm sucking the Hennessy out of it. Yeah, that's good. Let me try. Okay, so you all have been around town. We saw you at the rodeo and some different places. Mm hmm. What do you have to say about Houston's food scene? We're the most diverse city in the country, and that spills over into our food. So what do you think about our food? Houston's food scene is popping. Like, you know, everybody talks about L.A., San Francisco, and New York being like the mecca of food. Mm -hmm. Houston's coming up. A lot of innovative chefs are coming to Houston, and you guys are doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and your message with your YouTube series, Two People About Food, is... <laughs> You can talk with your mouth full on this show. Oh. Uh, Hello. Try 
things, right? So yeah, many of us I mean, are, in, are in our little box of what we'll eat, or we'll go, oh, I don't eat that. I don't right. want that, right? Mm -hmm. Right. We everything. I don't feel like with that attitude, you're missing out on so much. You know, there's so much food out there. There's so much different kinds of food from all, like, so many different places and people. Like, why not just try it out? At the very least, try it out, you know? Or else mm -hmm. you'll be missing out. Yeah, you know, I love it, because a lot of the food that we used to get made fun of it for, as kids, Everybody's trying that stuff. Well, now. you you grew up with like a lot of cultural foods, obviously. Uh, yeah. uh, Korean and Thai, right? Mm -hmm. And I grew up in Taiwan, mm -hmm. and oh. so I, Asian people eat anything. Well, yeah, right, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, and, and it's, so it's a little people, disgusting so too. Black people, I so let me tell you, my house was very interesting, right? <laughs> your, your chicken better look like an archaeological dig after. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> so as a kid, I would always ask that question. I think a lot of kids do. I go, but Daddy, what 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 meat is this? What animal? What does the animal look like that this comes from? And they're trying to sure, uh, tell me that chitlins were vegetarian. Okay, <laughs> that is not a vegetable, Daddy. That's culture. But, Anyway, tofu, yeah. tofu chitlins. Yeah, tofu chitlins. <laughs> right. so just, just kind of get out of your box there. What's the best thing you've tasted so far, ever? On the show? Um, I mean, uh, let's see. What do you think, bro? I know what the best thing you tasted is. Hmm. Oh, the turkey you meat? Yeah, yeah. you're eating it right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or a Cajun I, shrimp leg. A, a Cajun shrimp leg. And this one right here is? And that's our Cajun bowl. Okay. And dirty rice. Mm. Dirty or so grilled salmon. Mm -hmm. An occasion mac and cheese. All right, yeah. I need to wash it down with some. Can you pass the drink down? Oh yeah, you, are you, are you Would you mind? That okay. Let's see if I can lift it. Oh yeah. my god. Oh what my god. god. I haven't been to the gym in a month. No. Here you go. Okay. We shall sip it together. Here oh, we go. I'm down. Just yeah. Let's get it. Suck the straw in and mm -hmm. don't let it. Oh, that is Ooh. good. Okay, that's a Texas size serving right there. I'm gonna. Ooh, no, I don't, no, don't take that. Okay. What do you have coming up next? Oh, what do we have coming up next? Um. We're just doing a lot of shooting, shooting around the country. We go to Hawaii in a couple weeks to mm -hmm. shoot a little spam festival out there. Mm -hmm. And um, we just, uh, we're just traveling, shooting, eating, trying not to gain too much weight, you know, or my, or my, like, my, my wife will divorce me. But yeah. other than that, well, if y'all yeah. ever need like an extra, you know, to do a, do a tiebreaker or something like that, just call me and let me know. Let's okay. do it. <laughs> can you, can you get them a drink too? <laughs> All right, so, thank you. You can catch Timothy and David Send Foods episodes on YouTube for links and more information on Thrill List. Send Foods and Turkey Leg Huck. Log on to GreatDayHouston.com and we will connect you. They're really eating this food. They're not just tasting. They're really no, eating the food. Not at breakfast. Right, yeah. Good, isn't it?